Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now I hope you've all had and are still having a very happy holiday. Now as the end of the year approaches, so does the end of a personal era. My time with this, the Pentium G3258. Some of you may know that I upgraded to an i5-4460 that I found for £90 a few weeks ago, but the Pentium has continued to be part of my main build on occasions. To be honest, I'll probably never sell it as it holds the sentimental value of being the CPU that allowed me to kickstart this whole YouTube venture. Now I last took it out of my machine at a clock speed of 4.2 GHz, a 1 GHz overclock which it handled very well, and I had planned to reset the clock speed so that should I put it in another budget build someday with a stock cooler, it won't overheat. Now this got me thinking. The performance difference we saw with this overclock, in my opinion, was fairly decent. So just for fun, I thought that today we take it the other way and underclock this thing to the extreme. 1 GHz to be specific. Now most CPUs these days are clocked between 2 and 4 GHz, unless you're using something a bit older, but most desktop processors won't come lower than that. Now underclocking isn't that uncommon though and some people see it as a way to lower temperatures, perhaps indefinitely or at least until they can afford an aftermarket cooler. Others may just be more power consumption conscious and if the sole purpose of your PC is web browsing or work, then it won't significantly affect performance. But of course it's entirely different for gaming. Now by this point you're probably thinking what's the point? And to be honest I'm not too sure myself, but I hope this will be entertaining nonetheless. So let's get into it. We've paired our CPU with the RX 460, but I'm pretty certain that at 1 GHz we'd see a CPU bottleneck regardless of the graphics card. So let's get into some games. We'll be showing you the underclocked gameplay footage, but including the results from our CPU at stock speeds, as well as at 4.2 GHz at the end of each clip for a comparison. So let's get into GTA 5 first. Here we have 1080p and high settings along with 2 times MSAA and advanced graphics off. So as you can see it's not that bad, 28 frames per second on average which doesn't feel too different from the older generation's console experience. I played this on PS3 first time round and I can honestly say that this feels a little bit smoother and it certainly looks better. Now we're sticking to the settings that I would have used when the CPU was in my system, so taking a look at the other results here and you'll see that at stock we saw 41 FPS and a battery 48 FPS with a 4.2 GHz overclock. Next up it's The Witcher 3 which was quite concerning to think about but in practice fared fairly well. 1080p and the medium preset here with our 1 GHz G3258 we're seeing 25 frames per second. Again it's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Whilst I have to admit the game did drop lower on some occasions an average of 25 is acceptable considering. In comparison at stock we saw 42 frames per second and an overclock granted 46. So let's get into Dirt Rally which in my experience is one of the most optimised games I've ever played. At Ultra here with everything turned up we're seeing 38 frames per second which to be honest didn't surprise me that much given how well this game runs on most systems. And the fact that the two previous results shocked me as well. The game suffers from little to no stutter as you can see and on the stock CPU the game hits 45 and 53 with an overclock. So there we have it. Honestly we could go all day and the results in all likelihood would be closer than you think each and every time, even with those more CPU intensive titles. As I said here the point was pure curiosity and I've seen a couple of other videos similar to this but never with a more budget based CPU. Nevertheless I hope this was an entertaining video and a fitting send off for the G3258 processor. I'll be using it in benchmarks on occasions and this will now hold a special place on a specially built shelf. So guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this sort of little look back as well as extreme underclock of the G3258 CPU. If you enjoyed this video leave a like down below, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Continue having very happy holidays, a great new year if I don't speak to you before, and I will see you all in the next one.